process. And as more age groups get vaccinated, many schools across the Miami Valley are planning for students to be back in person this fall. Some students might have anxieties about being in the classroom again. Two News reporter Madeline Ashley is in the studio after talking to doctors about ways to calm those nerves. Brooke, from at-home learning to back in the classroom, medical experts say it's only normal for both parents and students to have anxieties after having been away from in-person learning for so long. But doctors say there are ways to cope with that fear. Really hoping that people are still respectful, especially if they like have a friend who doesn't want to be touched and wants to keep wearing their mask, like not to like make fun of them for it or to touch them anyways. Ahead of next school year, many students facing anxieties about returning to a classroom and catching COVID-19. It's absolutely normal for kids to have some anxiety and maybe a little stress and nervousness related to that. Medical experts say if parents are worried about their students transitioning to in-person learning, talk with them. Well, it's good to ask them, what do you understand? What are you worried about? What are you concerned with? We've already had discussions about the friends that she has, you know, they get vaccinated, but she'll have more freedoms with them. 14-year-old Rhea Anderson will be fully vaccinated by fall, but still plans to wear a mask at the beginning of the school year. Because it's already to the point where a lot of people are like, everybody's vaccinated, it's gone. And it's like, okay, one, not everyone's vaccinated and it's not gone. We still need to be taking precautions. Anderson, optimistic next school year will feel more like pre-pandemic times. I'm excited to get to hang out with people and stuff like that and like not have to be worried that I'm going to get somebody sick or not have to worry that they're going to be upset. Medical experts also encourage parents and students to contact school leaders or primary care physicians with any questions or concerns they might have ahead of the returning to the school year. In the studio, Madeline Ashley, 2 News working for you.